Bendy and the Ink Machine Chapter 3 is coming out? You betcha! Hey you prodigies, Pred Charles here and in this video I'm going to share with you 7 things you should have noticed in the Bendy and the Ink Machine Chapter 3 trailer and my analysis of these things. If you enjoy horror game theories and secrets like this be sure to subscribe and tap that bell as I have already made heaps and there will be more to come. And if you're not able to watch this video all the way through right now remember to tap add to and select watch later or just do it for fun. Number 1. Lots of dripping. Throughout the trailer you can hear heaps of dripping sounds and it's presumably the dripping of the ink. I think that this indicates that we may end up going to lower floors or stay on the same floor as the music department as that area was already very flooded and we all know that the pipes are very faulty and they're leaking. The fact that we have a lot of dripping in the audio might suggest that we are going to stay in an environment similar to the one in the music department. The second thing I've noticed is that there are heaps of gears all over the place and I think this is further evidence that we have to fix something which also suggests we could fix the lift but when we played through chapter 2 we saw plans for a second ink machine, what looked like a second ink machine and what the community presumes to be a second ink machine in Sammy Lawrence's office. Maybe we stay on the same level or go to lower levels in order to fix this second ink machine. And maybe the lift is what takes us to lower levels that would support the ink dripping sounds that we heard earlier, like some kind of sewer, although that would be a little bit over the top. It's probably an area that ink has drained down to that couldn't be pumped by an ink machine. Although if there's a second ink machine, this may be the reason why this other area that we have to enter is so flooded and leaky sounding. Number three is fittingly the halo on the three. Now everyone's going crazy over this, it looks like a huge Alice Angel reference confirmation sort of thing and that's really about it that we can say about that because the only character we've seen so far that has a halo is Alice Angel. The fact that it's on the three might suggest that Alice Angel has a huge part to play in the third chapter. Alice Angel herself may make an appearance or the chapter may be themed around Alice Angel and what we've found out about Alice so far. But remember this for later because I will be referring back to Alice in future points that you may have missed in the trailer. Number four is that the three is extremely inky and it may suggest that Alice is in an ink form kind of like Bendy. So far out of the characters that have been revealed to us, Bendy, Boris and Alice Angel, We've only seen Bendy and Boris the Wolf in a 3D form. In the case of Bendy and Boris the Wolf, we've only seen Boris that kind of looks normal out of all of the Toon characters. So hopefully this doesn't also suggest that Boris will randomly turn into an inky form, but I think it may suggest that Alice is the one who may be in an inky form. Number five is the microphone. As we zoom out from the three with the halo and all of the gears and all of the sounds that are happening, we can hear a slight shing sound and we see a microphone to the right of the screen. Of course we all know that Alice Angel is voiced by somebody called Susie Campbell that we also haven't seen so this might suggest that we will not only see Alice Angel we'll also be hearing her. Although it would be cool if we saw Susie Campbell, Alice Angel's voice actor as well. And hey if we're lucky, we might also get to finally hear Boris's voice. I don't know about Bendy though, Bendy kind of looks like he wants to scream at us in every chapter. But it would be cool if we finally get to see a little bit more depth in the cartoon characters in their 3D forms through voices. Number six is fittingly the flash of Bendy, which kind of looks randomly placed, but let's carefully look at the timing of this flash and what this might represent. We see that the flash of Bendy appears as we zoom out of three near the end, and it actually cuts off the animation that zooms out of the Three. Now this is interesting because it may suggest that there's some kind of tension or some kind of conflict that's planned between Bendy and Alice. Now remember that this is just a trailer announcing that chapter 3 is in development so these may be some development concepts that are being prepared to be made into chapter 3 itself. We know from the chapter 2 recording of Susie Campbell that Alice Angel was becoming a very popular character that might overtake Bendy in popularity one day so this flashback at that particular moment cutting off the halo with the three under it may give hints towards some sort of crazy cataclysmic battle between Benny and Alice although that's my imagination going a bit crazy I think there might be some kind of tension that would make the story a little bit more interesting don't forget that I said we should look at the circumstances of where Benny is in the flash that happens it kind of looks like Benny is in a recording booth as well but it's hard to say what's in that recording booth for sure there's definitely a crack on the right hand side but if you look to the left hand side it's hard to tell 
tell whether that's a piano or some kind of stand for music or a script or whatever. In the top left, there's just a light, so nothing special there, but I'm getting a lot of vibes that this is a recording booth, kind of like the recording booth that we see. When we turn on Susie Campbell's audio cassette in chapter two, it kind of reminds me of that room that that audio cassette is outside of. Number seven is that we see Bendy all blurry at the end of the trailer, and it makes me wonder why Bendy is glowing so much and is so blurry. Could it suggest that we might be able to get a sneak peek at one of the Bendy cartoon episodes? Kind of like the projector that shows Bendy bopping up and down in chapter one? Let me know what you think. We can also see that Bendy's ear is broken and that the left cheek looks a little bit worn out, so it might represent that there are actually more Bendy cutouts in chapter three to jump scare us, which will be super exciting. I hope the Bendy cutouts don't randomly attack us like the searchers did. The searchers are those ink minions by the way. That would be a bit freaky. Honestly that would be really interesting and it would lead to more gameplay mechanics. What if these bendy cutouts actually appear and attack us and it turns out that we can't kill them near those alchemic glyphs or transmutation circles or whatever you want to call them. We might have to draw them away in order to kill them. If we look away at the wrong time they might respawn behind us and start attacking us again and play that crazy it would be interesting. As a thank you for holding through this video for so long, I've got a bonus point for you. Bonus point number eight is, as the camera zooms out from the three with the halo, in the bottom right we can see what looks like the shadow of a woman holding a script behind the gears. Could this possibly be the shadow of Susie Campbell, I wonder? The silhouette appears behind the gears and it looks like she's lying on her back, which gives me very Snow White vibes. So do we have a Snow White inspired situation where we have to wake her up in chapter three? It would be interesting because it could potentially be the first situation where we find not only a cartoon character, but the voice actor that also voiced them in the same chapter, providing that Sammy didn't voice Boris, of course. And if you wanna learn more about that, I've got a theory about that in the card that's gonna appear in the top right. If this is so, it would be so exciting because it might actually start giving us hints towards how these 3D cartoons came about what happened to the voice actors that were, all the workers, it could be the voice actors, it could be the workers, that were sacrificed. If they were sacrificed, we also get to learn about the circumstances behind that in order to bring all of these events into place. I'm looking very forward to it. Now two more cool little things that I've noticed that could be a big coincidence is that we can see a sort of hidden meatly, you know, like hidden Mickeys in Disney. I saw a hidden meatly near the woman that I just mentioned in the bonus point. It kind of looks like the meatly on strings. If you don't know what I mean, you have to see the meatly's development videos. The meatly basically represents himself through a puppet and this puppet is what that face is that we see in the hidden rooms in the games and it's also the face of the Meatly Games, the company that makes Bendy and the Ink Machine. Also next to the Meatly, I can see what looks like a man on strings. It kind of looks like the man is held up by strings as well with the Meatly there. But it's almost as if the man is on some kind of swing, which is really strange. I don't know how that could add to the story if this is actually a thing, but it's there. Oh, prodigies, by the way, I just remembered one more thing that I noticed in the trailer, and that's as you zoom out of the three, you see what looks kind of like a gallows that you would draw in Hangman. And that's what these shadows of the Meatly and the man with strings or the man on a swing or whatever you want to call it, if they're actually things, are hanging off. Now, I'm sure you've all played Hangman. I'm sure you all know the meaning of what it means to lose at Hangman. It would be terrible if hanging had something to do with chapter three. But you know, this is a horror game. That's to be expected. And it might have some cute spin to it, who knows. Either way, it'll be cool if it was cute. It'll be cool if it preserves the intense horror aspects of the horror of Bendy and the Ink Machine. Either way, I'd be excited. What do you think? Remember to subscribe and tap that bell for more cool and interesting horror game theories and secrets. And prodigies, I really hope that these videos help you to expand on how you think so it can help you with how you go about your thinking in your daily lives. See ya.